Hello, I'm Leonard Baxton from the Institute of Medical Technology and Intelligent Systems at Hamburg University of Technology. And on behalf of my colleagues, I am happy to present our work, Attention via Scattering Transforms for Segmentation of Small Intravascular Ultrasound Datasets. When we train CNNs with limited data, the learned filters turn out to be rather inefficient and unable to extract meaningful features. Scattering transformations are convolutional neural networks with predefined filters and have proven to be able to extract meaningful features for natural image classification. We hypothesize that combining CNNs with scattering transformations in the framework of an attention mechanism improves performance on medical image segmentation like calcium, lumen, or vessel wall segmentation in intravascular ultrasound images. Ordinary wavelet transforms are usually calculated by applying a filter cascade with low pass filters phi and band pass filters psi. The band pass filters are only applied to the input image and previously low pass features. Scattering transformations are quite similar as they also rely on a wavelet basis. However, the band pass filters are applied to all intermediate feature maps. The exponential increase of output feature maps with increasing order of transformation is challenging. So the possible locations of scattering transformations in a CNN are therefore quite limited. We therefore came up with the idea of using scattering transformations as an attention mechanism and develop a corresponding squeeze and excitation block. This block is depicted here. The scattering transformation outputs 49 channels in our case, and these serve as input to the spatial and channel attention path. And because squeeze and excitation with scattering transformation is a quite long term, we abbreviate with CEST. Here we have a diagram of a residual unit comprising CEST blocks after each down and up sampling stage. And we also investigated Deep Lab version 3 with inserted CEST blocks. We employed two intravascular ultrasound datasets. One for calcium segmentation and another one for lumen and vessel wall segmentation. We trained both networks with three different training set sizes and compared the results by means of dice coefficient and average house of distance. For brevity, I'll only show the results of unit RAS. With a few exceptions, the results of Deep Lab version 3 are quite similar and can be found in the paper. For calcium segmentation, we see that the scattering transformation approach always outperforms the baseline with a statistically significant margin. However, improvements are larger for smaller data sets, as we also assumed up to 6% relatively for the dice and 21% for the average house of distance. And here are some exemplary images. We see that especially for smaller data sets, set CNNs detect more calcified regions, for example, in case one and case two, and it leads to less false positives as can be seen in the third case. For lumen and vessel wall segmentation, the outperformances by using CEST are almost only statistically significant for the smallest data set. Here the improvements are generally smaller compared to the improvements on the calcium segmentation task. And here again some exemplary images. The largest differences are visible for the smallest data set. And, but even for the mid-sized data set, the baseline CNN has difficulties to predict the vessel wall as a closed ring, as can be seen in case two and case three, um, whereas the SAS approach is able to do so. Okay, to conclude, we showed that using scattering transformations for an attention mechanism improves the segmentation results when training with small intravascular ultrasound data sets. SAS seems to work better when segmenting small structures like calcifications. 
it is likely that the attention approach is just less effective for larger structures like lumen or vessel wall. And lastly, the SAS block can be flexibly inserted into any CNN. So this concludes my talk. Uh, thank you for your attention and I'm looking forward to your questions.